Capricorn, it's L here to do your December 2020 reading. Yes, I have been missing in action, but I'm here now. I hope that everyone is well. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Let's jump into this. So Capricorn, we're going to focus on love, all right? Um, if we get some career out of this, great. But we're going to focus on love. All right. Wow. Okay, Capricorn, we got a card that just slipped out of the deck for you. Okay. Um, the Prince of Wands, okay, or the Knight of Wands. Some of you could be, could have been dealing with or are dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, this is somebody who's in and out, someone who hadn't made up their mind about a, a commitment, but definitely they know who and what they are passionate about. This is a free spirit um, that does exactly what they want. Um, they go after what it is they desire, okay? All right, so Capricorn in love. What was going on in the past for Capricorn? What's going on in the past? Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. So things were turning around for you. Um, life was uh, shaping up for you. Um, hopefully, if you were on the spectrum of things were not so great, now this is turning into that things are much better. Or you're doing much better. Um, some of you could be dealing, once again, with the Sagittarius, a Piscean person. Um, fortune is looking better. Um, some of you maybe in the past you thought you were dealing with somebody who was destined, fated to be in your life, um, or you felt like you had a fated encounter of some sort. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, maybe you even felt as if being in this connection, um, hopefully it brought you good luck or good fortune. Um, the card says also in the past that. Fortune could have been shifting, changing for you by way of changes. Maybe you made some changes. There was a close to a cycle. Um, something of that nature. All right, so what is the situation? The situation presently for Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? Hopefully, okay. The Hermit card. All right, so some of you could be dealing with the Virgo. If not dealing with the Virgo, this is... Um, Some of you, okay, so there could have been a close to a situation, maybe because somebody was, I just keep, and I'm trying not to say it, because I just don't want to offend anybody or take anybody down, or, you know, that journey, but I just keep hearing promiscuity or promiscuous. I don't know, and the night one slipped out at the beginning. I don't know if this was you or this was someone else. Maybe there had to be a close to that cycle, that phase in your life or in another person's life that you are or were dealing with. Um, and now you're at a place of soul searching, um, being introspective in terms of what is it I want next for myself, uh, asking questions of self, your own personal philosophy and how you deal and what you, what you think and the rules and the regimen that you made for yourself. Some of you either might want to travel or get in a book that helps you travel through your own uh, history, giving yourself your own history lesson. And some of you could be meeting with uh, psychotherapists, uh, therapists, counselors, tarot card readers, anybody get, meeting with an expert trying to gather now knowledge. I said knowledge, knowledge <laughs> about yourself understand self better this is um to know thyself okay so that you can then re-enter quote unquote uh the world um with, with better knowledge of self and how you operate and how you do you know so i don't know if there was a closing out of a cycle in terms of for you or you had to close a cycle in terms of with someone else because there was promiscuity um, you know, the Chinese prob the Chinese definition or proverb um, that defines promiscuity, it just says many starts. So you have many 
meaning plural, several starts. Do you, do you understand that? That there's never a finish. You just have many starts. When maybe this was you or you were dealing with someone who just so many starts, never finishing and completing anything. I really feel like it's someone else. Capricorn, we don't feel like it's you. Could be you. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but you're dealing with someone who was never in it for the long, long haul, never in it for the finish, for the completion, for the, the silver lining. They have many starts in many different places with many different people. So, yeah. What is the advice for Capricorn here? What is the advice for Capricorn? You can be separated from this person also. You separated yourself from maybe even, um, you know, the world altogether. Um, all right. What's the advice for Capricorn? King of Cups, okay. Uh, so the advice for you is the King of Cups. All right, so the King of Cups talks about emotionally, being emotionally balanced. So you have a bucket of emotions for everything, you know? Um, here's my anger over here, here's my happiness, here's my joy, here's my empathy, here's my, I don't know, not really emotion, but, um, you know, here's my care. So you're balanced in terms of everything is in its place. Nothing is out of balance where you have, um, in, in, in each one of these buckets, they're all, you know, the same measurement. No bucket is bigger than the other. You know, so the advice here is for you to stay emotionally balanced. For some of you, I keep hearing some of you you keep an exes at bay, but they're still around and they're still in a place where they um they're they're accessible. You might not be completely, you know, getting down with this person or persons, but they feed your ego. Or the card won't even know that you're dealing with someone like that. That's they keep people around them just to feed the ego, even if they are not dealing with this person on a day-to-day -day basis um, just to text or a phone call or knowing that they have access to or that they can get a, a good message from or a loving message or, or an accolade from this person feeds their ego. So you could be dealing with someone like that or this is you. Um, this helps you stay balanced too for some of you or you're dealing with someone like that. Uh, wow, then the Queen of Cups popped out. Okay. I'm going to take it, even though I wasn't looking for another card. I wasn't shuffling for another card. Um, so the Queen of Cups is about emotional stability. Um, she knows how to take on, you know, others' problems or listen. Is a good listener, but she doesn't, she doesn't let that, you know, um, haywire her, everybody else's problems. Uh, her empathy bucket is very big in terms of other people. Um, also, we could be talking about a marriage here um, that, where there's a lot of love. Um, and there is a, um, well, it's not a marriage, it's just a relationship. Um, there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of emotion here. Um, So the out, so the advice for you to remain emotionally emotionally balanced in terms of maybe this Queen of Cups, this person that you were. For some of you, you separated from this person, right? This person that you were emotionally um, maybe off balance for or out of whack for. Just maintain your balance here, okay? Um, even though there's a lot of love here. Let's see what the outcome is if you take the advice of the cards. And the advice is to maintain your balance, okay? Uh, maintain your balance because um, don't, don't, don't let this person tip the scale for you where they just 
they say two things and you are, and you you are jumping out the window for me. You know? So okay, the outcome if you take the advice. Alright. Prince of Pentacles. Maybe you get a more stable, um, balanced offer. Relationship is not coming immediately. Um, but you definitely get to a place of more commitment and loyalty. This could be with uh, an old person, or it could be with someone new. Uh, it could be with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and we do have Virgo on the table. Let's see what the Prince of Pentacles, or who the Prince of Pentacles is. Um, the outcome is saying that you and your person are going to work really hard to make this relationship work. You understand that it will be hard work. Um, it's going to take dedication and loyalty. It's not going to be a cakewalk, nor will it come overnight for you. Okay. So the Prince of Pentacles. All right. Definitely, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or Virgo, Taurus or Gemini. Um, so this looks like it was hard for somebody to cut out other options. It was hard for somebody to separate, to divorce, to where it just caused a breakdown in communication, which then trickle down to a breakdown in emotions and then a breakdown in just everything. So then there's also interference. Yeah, somebody was just petty, putting putting energy everywhere. One once again that promiscuity is coming out. Maybe someone cut someone out from being promis you know, promiscuous and third party situation. Or somebody see look if you can see in this card there's a couple behind the queen of swords and then you have the five of wands there's somebody who's exerting energy elsewhere with everything and maybe everybody else someone who's engaged in a love affair um little childlike games being playing played they were childish or childish um this was a love affair for some of you, um, not necessarily a committed union. For some of you, it could be or could have been. Um, the outcome is that maybe this person is cutting out that those ways, or you're cutting out this person, or they cut you out um, because of the confusion, the the conflict, and the third party, um, the breakdown in the relationship, and the the breakdown uh, mentally also, um, because the swords are about thought and intellect. Even if someone didn't see the physical evidence, they felt like in their thoughts, in their heart, and in, in their mind that someone was cheating, is cheating. And so there was a breakdown in, in communication. I keep saying that. Um, someone was uh, more social. Someone, it could have been that um, someone was putting a lot of energy into social activities. I just heard a smear campaign. I don't know, somebody was smear campaign here. Trying to smear someone's reputation. Um, the outcome is hard work, dedication. Maybe because you cut out you saw that it was more fitting to um, be focused on yourself, be focused on, this has made some of you a little bitter, a little um, jaded. It's also made some of you run to your spirituality too, with the hermit card. Somebody took you through the ringer, or vice versa, you took someone else through the ringer, and in order for them to get over this heartbreak and heartache, and the confusion they are uh, going back to spirituality so that they can find some groundedness here. But the two swords cards here, there was a cutting out. There was a cutting away of, okay? Whew. Um, the 
see. What does your person want to say to you? What does this Capricorn person want to say to you? Give me three cards. Devil. Uh, okay. And the Eight of Swords. Okay. So, maybe someone felt like you were controlling. Um, there was like a ball and chain type of energy. Um, they felt stuck. They felt trapped. Mentally, this could be you, Capricorn, saying this to the other person. But we did ask the cards, what does your person want to say to you? You dealing with an air sign. We feel like you, you kept them mentally stuck, trapped. It could be in terms of money, the other person's money. Maybe you kept them you know, bound in terms of money and the giving of money, uh, resources, large sums of money, courts also being involved here. Um, they felt like you are or were toxic or vice versa I'm not sure um I feel like you you were addicted to keeping something stuck and stagnant um somebody's definitely going with Sagittarius because somebody is focused on moving things along focus on the bigger picture here happiness joy satisfaction um they're not sure if they want to fight for a relationship, an opportunity. I just heard maybe even a child. Someone would rather pay the money and just be done with the, the parenting part. Um, they could be making a decision to move away, move far away from home. Jeez, this is this is tough. It's like so much energy, so much so much on these cards. I, um, let's get some Moonology cards for you to close this out, Capricorn. Someone could be contemplating moving away from a mother figure, moving away from mom, moving away from home. I don't know if someone's contemplating a merger. Will this other person move with them? Um, someone could be just packing up and going. All right, and what do you have to tell Capricorn in terms of the monology cards? Or anything? Oh, look at that. All right, great. So the the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. Very nice. So maybe around your birthday time, um, things will get a lot lighter for you. Okay, now I get it. Watch this, guys. Communication is key. And didn't I say that? I kept saying the breakdown in communication. The breakdown is like somebody, y'all just don't communicate well. Like it is just, it's either non existent or it's very fragmented. It's very volatile. Okay. All right, Capricorn, if you feel like you need a personal reading, maybe to expound on this energy to see where you land, where you stand, um, to get better clarity about your own situation, go over to the website and book your reading there. Take advantage of a coupon code. Um, I'm going to change the coupon code and blast it out to you guys. Um, but it'll be $10 off. Any reading, $33 or more, okay? So take advantage of that. Thank you, Capricorn. Have a really good, uh, happy, not a happy, but a merry Christmas if you celebrate. Um, thank you. Take some. I can't talk now. There's a breakdown in communication. Thank you. Take care.